Hello, everybody. This is our Tuesday afternoon earring show. So it is 4.30, my time. Oh, Caitlin just popped on in there. There we go. So we have Caitlin assisting us today with our earrings. We've got 40 pairs pulled out. So we're going to do 40 pairs of earrings. So if you want some earrings, now's the time. My name is Christy. This is Putting on the Glitz. So I am a paparazzi independent consultant. Hi, Kimberly. The way I got started in this um, last June during the pandemic is that I needed a part-time job. And obviously being the pandemic, you don't want to go outside of the house and work. So I was trying to find something from home and everything just kind of wasn't working out. Hi, mom. Hi, Violet. So um, a friend introduced me to paparazzi and I was buying it. And I kept hearing her story about how she got started. And I'm thinking I could never do that because I don't want to be in front of the camera. Right. I'm very camera shy. Um, I'm actually very phone shy too, if you know me. So I don't like to talk to people. I don't like to be in front of people. And she's like, Hey, I have severe anxiety and if I can do it, you can do it. So I'm not going to lie. The first couple of months were kind of rough. <laughs> Hi, Sheila, but I got better at it. And, um, I really like the product that I'm selling. I love that it's only $5 so that everybody can afford it. And as you hit your stride, and I hit mine, it became fun for me. So now I get to do what I like and I get to have fun doing it. And I have my little bit of income that I need so I don't need to find a job outside the house. So that's what got me started. And now here we are um, next month on the 10th will be my first Papaversary. That's what they call it. My first anniversary with paparazzi. And we will have some extra giveaways on that day. I haven't looked to see what day of the week that is yet. But um, we'll be having some extra giveaways, at least on my page on that day, if we don't have a live. Thank you, Mom. I like this one, too. So I was waiting for this one to come in. I actually ordered an extra one so that I could have one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with our earrings. I know some people will come in later. So our first pair is Double the Drama. These are in a very pretty candy apple red. They are a teardrop, a faceted teardrop down in the bottom surrounded by an oval of white rhinestones. And we have another little teardrop up here in the top part. They're on a silver fish hook back. Hi, Marjorie. This is the size of these earrings. And this one is called Double the Drama in red. They're going to be number one. I must have been on a red kick because I pulled two red pairs in a row. These are called Flamingo Flamenco. So these are teardrop shaped silver pieces with filigree. We have some red enamel in there mixed in with the silver. Get those pretty little like squiggles in the teardrop. See if I can show you that pattern. There you go. This is the size of these. Just have one pair of these. These are Flamingo Flamenco in red. They're number two. Caitlin, are you freezing? Caitlin got a blanket and put it on. I can't believe this. I am hot. I'm always hot. And Caitlin's over here putting on a blanket, making me feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> Maybe I am. That's what it is. I'm just crazy. All right. These are Flavor of the Fleek. They are in pink. These are a hot pink. This is kind of a twisted teardrop with hot pink rhinestones along these edges. So we have an edge here, an edge here. And then on the inside, we've got those two edges that have the pink rhinestones in them. So this is... The size, you're with Caitlin. Is it cool there? This is the size. We just have one of these. Their flavor of the fleek in pink, number three. So I was talking to um, somebody in Chandler, Arizona this morning who actually was in the same congregation as Sharon before the reorganization and before Sharon moved. Um, and she said it was kind of cool there today. So. I don't know what's going on in Arizona. <laughs> it's over 90 degrees here, so I am not cold. 
Hi, Esley. Good to see you. All right. This is Canyon Chandelier. This is in a multi because we have two different colors of crackle stone. So we have white and we have the turquoise. They're round at the top and then teardrops at the bottom with a pretty like little chandelier shape and antique silver in the center. Almost looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? With the little wings. So this is the size of these. I have two pairs of these available. They're Canyon Chandelier. And they're in multi. Number four. And I have one pair of clip-ons. These are actually our newest clip-ons. So if you know someone who wears clip-ons or who just likes to wear clip-ons, these are a frosted white bead in a teardrop shape. And then up at the top, we have an oval. They're both in a studded frame of antique silver. Our clip-ons are very nice because they have, oops. Well, that wasn't very good. It came off the tag. So they have this cute little silver, not silver, silicone stopper in here. And that makes it a little bit more comfortable for your ears. Hi, Terry. Of course, we all know clip-ons are not naturally comfortable, but that little cushion there helps to make it a little bit more comfortable. This is the size of these clip-ons. I do have two pairs of them. They're called Carefree Clairvoyance in white, and they're number five. That took care of our first hook. Let's do some hoops. I know Kimberly's over here on Instagram, so she likes our hoops and the bigger hoops. So, hi, Sharon. These are called Colossal Curves. Colossal Curves in gold. This is like a double hoop look. They are all one piece, but it gives you a two hoop look. And there is actually a section in here where you can see between the two of them. So it does actually look like two separate hoops. They're of course on a post back, like all of our hoops. This is the size. Yes, they are very shiny, shiny. These are the size. So these are colossal curves in gold. I do have two of them. They're number six. Kimberly would like one of those. So I have one more. These are gypsy goals in that shiny, shiny copper. So these are also larger hoop earrings. They're just the polished shiny silver. So they're a plain hoop, a little bit on the wide side. Let's see, this is the size of these. So it's no secret, I love my big hoops because they come out from behind my, my hair. My hair is so curly and down around my face that I need something big to kind of peek out from behind it. These are number seven, Gypsy Golds and Copper. Just have one set of those. So those are some of my favorite hoops. I also tend to go with the wider ones because they show better from behind my hair if I have it down. If I have it up, it's not a problem. All right, just have one set of these left. These are our smaller gold hoops. These are called Chic As Can Be. They have a linear design on them, so the lines run vertically. Gives it almost like a small ribbed texture. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. Instagram hates my face. So if I cover it, sometimes it'll focus a little bit better. This is the size of these. So you can see they're quite a bit smaller than some of our other hoops, but still not super tiny. Chic as can be in gold are number eight. The next two I'm going to show you are pretty similar. They have different names, but they're very similar. These are called Reporting for Duty in gold. These are a little bit larger, but narrow hoops with the diamond cuts at an angle all down them. If you can see the 
See the little diamond cuts? Number eight for mom. Yeah, you can see the little diamond cuts. This is the size of these. So they're a little bit bigger than the last pair. Still a nice standard gold hoop. I have three of these remaining. And this is number nine. Number 10 is the silver pair that is similar. These are called Rural Reserve. Rural Reserve in silver. They also feature those little diamond cuts at an angle all, um, all around the outside and the inside of these hoops. They're a narrow silver hoop. This is the size. I love these kind of hoops because they literally go with everything. So if you're wearing a silver necklace, you can grab your silver pair. You don't have to worry about matching them up. If you're wearing something gold, you can grab the gold pair. Number 10. So these are staples in my jewelry box. Or you can wear them when you're not wearing any other jewelry. And they have a nice casual look, or they can be upscale. The next one I have in two different colors. These are called Cactus Blossom. Cactus blossom in red or in orange. So the red or the orange refers to the little crackle bead that is above this flower. The flower is in antique silver. These are on the smaller side. I do have two in red and just one in orange. This is the size. So you can see it's not very large against my face. So we have cactus blossom. In red, two available, and in orange, one available. Number 11. Number 12. This is one of our blockbusters. So I have it in a gold setting or in a silver setting. These are called Just in Timeless. And they're a larger rhinestone stud. So this is when you just want a simple stud earring. The settings are in gold or in silver. This is the size. So they're not super tiny, but they're not really big either. I have one in gold right now and two in silver, but I can reorder these because they're a blockbuster. So if more than that wants them, I can order those in. These are number 12, just in timeless. Number 13, so some larger hoops too. These are in a dark pink, like a fuchsia color between fuchsia and hot pink. So these are silver hoops. They're studded on the first half with the pink rhinestones and then they finish in a polished silver. Number 12, both to Kimberly. This is the size. I just have one pair of these remaining. So these are called making rounds. Making rounds in pink, they're number 13. And number 14 is in a similar color. It's a tiny bit darker because the gems are a little bit larger. I'm sorry I keep freezing, Violet. Is anybody else having trouble with me freezing? So these are in a marquee and rectangular shapes in that fuchsia color. A little tiny bit darker than the other earrings. They're not quite as pink. And then they have white round rhinestones in between. This is the size of these. They're called There Goes the Neighborhood in pink. And I just have one left. Okay, Kimberly's having trouble with the freezing. Anybody else? Number 14. Trying to determine if it's my internet or theirs. Is Daniel on the computer? Okay. Just wondering. Once. Okay, mom only had once. These are cute little jacket earrings. These are called metal origami. 
you can kind of see why they call them origami with the shapes of those pieces in here. They're in the black metal. So jacket earrings come with a stud, which is this little piece up here. Okay, I'm fine on Sheila's end. So it must be on Violet and Kim's end. This little kite shaped piece up here, that is your stud. And then this jacket can either be worn in the front of the ear with the stud or behind the ear with the stud going through it. Or you can just wear the stud by itself. So these are metal origami in that black metal. I like these because you have flexible ways to wear them. I have two of them and it's number 15. These are mantra to mantra in silver, which means that these beads are that light gray color that they call silver. So they have a pretty antique silver frame around them. Let's see if I can get them up close, kind of a twisted rope type appearance. And then we have the crescent moon, hi Daisy, underneath it with the little gray beads studded above it. And then we have the little shell type beads on the bottom. I call them shells because of the little ribbed texture on them. They remind me of shells, seashells. So these are mantra to mantra in silver. Just have one pair of these. This is the size. And they're going to be number 16. For once you don't have problems with your internet, right Terry? Once in a while, we have problems with your internet. Today, you finally don't have a problem. I know Violet does a lot because of where she lives. This is Floral Affair in green. So these are a pretty filigree teardrop. They're brushed in a light mint green, pale mint green. Have kind of that floral look in the middle they kind of look like flowers just have one pair of these left this is the size the floral affair in green number 17. is everybody else hot today how's california is it hot or kind of temperate today i know kim's got to be hot Let's see, Violet, what's the weather like up there? Sheila, she's gonna be hot. She's too close to me. This is headliners over heels. Headliner over heels. They're in white. You're hot too, Violet, ugh. So we have the white pearly bead at the bottom, an elongated teardrop with those rhinestone accents right above it. Just have one pair of these remaining. It's muggy too. Yuck. This is the size of these. Headliner over heels in white. It's Terry, 72 degrees and sunny. We don't like her today. This is number 18. <laughs> Esley says she's at 90 in Southern California. It says we're 84 here, but um, let me tell you, 84 in North Carolina, but the humidity is pretty darn hot. Not so much wanting to go outside. I went to the mailbox and that was it. These are I Better Get Glowing in green. So this is a pretty olive green pearly bead, an oval shape with some filigree coming down off the bottom and then holding up three more army green pearly beads, round ones at the bottom and then we have that cute little rhinestone accent right there in the center underneath the oval this is the size so i better get glowing in green is number 19. so do you get humid in california because you're near the ocean too do you get humid like we do here or is it pretty dry? I don't really understand why some places aren't dry when they're near the aren't aren't humid. Sorry, when they're near the water, but some places aren't. 
Okay, these are called Sweetly Siren. They are in pink. So these are like a medium pink bead. I'm going to call them salmon pink. In this antique silver filigree, you can see that it's in heart shapes below and above. So this one's an upside down heart up here and then a right side up heart on the bottom. Just have one pair of these. This is the size. Okay. So this is Sweetly Siren in pink. And it's number 20. I don't understand how desert that can be that close to the ocean because we get so much humidity. It must be the direction that it moves in. I have no idea. I don't study weather patterns for a living. That's the weatherman's job. But yeah, I don't really understand how you can be so close and be desert. Okay, these are flauntable florals in silver. Just one pair of these remaining. So these are kind of a diamond shape where they have a flower motif embossed on them in the antique silver. Let me see if I can turn these so that you'll be able to see the pattern. I'm going to get them out of the light. There we go. So this is the size of these. They're called flauntable florals. And they are in silver. And number 21. Maybe someday we'll understand all the weather. All right, these are my last pair of these. These are called Tribal Pride in silver. So the inside is kind of the hollowed out back and the outside is an oval type hoop, type hoop, sorry, with the little chevron designs in three places. I like that these are not round hoops. They're the oval type. And those little chevrons are in that black of the antique silver. This is the size of these, so they're not huge. Just one pair of these. Tribal Pride in silver is number 22. Not like Arizona type desert, okay. Well, at least your state is dry. So I feel like it would be more easy to handle, I guess, the weather here if it was not humid. In Florida, Florida's awful. I don't know how people live there. This is Distance Pasture, number 22 to Sharon. Distance Pasture, these are an upside down teardrop with a little kind of tribal motif. These are, they look like elongated hearts to me. That's what they look like. Let me see if you can see that, that pattern. That's what they look like to me. And then we have a light yellow bead at the top of these. Let me see. There we go. Sometimes I have to take it away to get it to focus. So these are called Distance Pasture in Yellow. Just have one pair of these. This is the size. And it's number 23. Plus, I feel like the humidity makes your bones ache. What do you guys think? think the humidity makes you hurt a little bit more. I feel like the dry heat is kind of like a sauna. You know, when you go in the dry heat saunas, it makes you feel a little bit better when you have arthritis or various body aches and pains. These are called Gracefully Gatsby in a purple. So these are in a very pretty lighter purple, not light purple, but lighter. So maybe we'll call it medium purple. We have the little cutout at the top that's surrounded in white rhinestones. And then that pretty filigree holding up the little pearly beads. Just have one of these left. This is the size. Yes, you do have these in blue. They're so pretty. They came out in a couple colors. So these are Gracefully Gatsby in purple. And they're number 24.
I just know the barometric pressure changes a lot here because of um, the weather fronts coming in, carrying rain and that sort of thing. And the barometric pressure bothers me a lot. So I don't know if it's actually the humidity or the, the wetness in the air, or if it's just that the barometric pressure changes so much. Okay, these are free to roam in purple. Just have one of these left. These are a teardrop shaped earring with the purple beads inside it. Those are in kind of kind of between a marquee and an oval, like they couldn't decide which one they wanted to be. And then a round purple bead in the center, surrounded by that silver studded work. This is the size of these. So they're called free to roam in purple. Number 25. And I looked at the number first on Instagram and I almost said 52. <sighs> Gotta pay attention. All right, these are also studs, but unlike our other ones, these are red studs. And they are set in silver. So just a small post earring. They're the same size as the other studs that I have, the just in timeless white ones, but they are in red instead in that silver setting. They're called Greatest Treasure. Just have one pair of these because they sent them to me by mistake. And they're number 26. They were supposed to send me something else and they sent me those. I didn't even know we had red studs like that. Now I do. Yes, those would be great as a second earring. For those of you who might like the wood earrings or just like this blue color, number 26 to Terry. These are a very light wooden hoop in that pretty blue and the turquoise blue. This is the size. I have three pairs of these. They're called I Would Walk 500 Miles. Now, nobody sing the song. I would walk 500 miles. Number 27. Now that's going to be stuck in my head for a while. I hate it when they do that. The other one um, was a necklace that was named Living on a Prairie. And every time I saw it, I could hear the song Living on a Prayer in my head. And I'm a Bon Jovi fan anyway. So yeah, that really wasn't helpful. All right. These are also post earrings. These are an oval pink rhinestone in the center and the post is right in the very middle. And then they're surrounded by white rhinestones. So it kind of has a starburst effect. That's what I like to call it. Yes, <laughs> I'm not sure which one's worse actually, but living on a prayer is preferable. These are called Starry Nights in pink. I do have two pairs of these available. That is a pale pink that's in the center. Number 28. Which song do you hate getting stuck in your head? I have so many of them. One of them is Baby Shark because I hear it all the time with the girls. Baby Shark gets stuck in my head and you can't shut it off. Um, what are some other ones we get that we end up singing all the time, Caitlin? There's a whole bunch of them. I am a Bon Jovi fan, Daisy. I, I like them. They were around when I was finishing up grade school. I was in about fourth, fifth, I guess fifth grade. Any B-52 song, yes. Terry was saying Love Shack makes her feel good. And they're, they're very energetic. This one's called Flirty Finesse in green. So I'm going to call this a teal green. This is not the teal blue. It's the teal green. Um, they're just calling it turf on my, on my chart. And that is really not very helpful. It's in a teardrop shaped bead. And then we have the um, filigree all around the outside of it. Sorry, I lost my word for a second there. Just have one set of these. This is the size. Yeah, we couldn't be friends if I wasn't, right, Daisy? 
Number 29. These next ones are in brass. I know some of you have some brass necklaces, so you might want an alternative earring. They're called catching dreams in brass. And you can see why, because usually the dream catchers have the tassels coming down off the bottom of that kind of rounded. Usually they have a full round. This is a half round, like a crescent. And it is textured. You can see the studding on it and then a the little pattern. And then we have the little tassels with the brass beads coming down off the bottom. So I just have one pair of these, number 29 to Daisy. This is the size of these earrings. So these are going to be number 30, Catching Dreams in brass. Any of the Christmas songs, why are they so catchy? Is it because they play them all the time in the stores? I feel like that would be it, but this last year we weren't in the store at Christmas time and they still get me. That little drummer boy with the rum pum pum pums, he just, he gets inside my head and he doesn't want to leave. He's playing drums inside my head. All right, these are called grungy grit. So you can see they are a hammered or a textured black metal earring. They're, I'm gonna call them a mid-size hoop because for us, we don't have tiny hoops. So these are mid-size, they're not the huge ones. They're not the tiny ones. So this is the size. They're a little bit bigger than the Glitzy by Association. So these are grungy grit. They're in black metal and they're number 31. Or the, um, what's the other one? The Winter Wonderland one gets me. There's another one. Oh, White Christmas. White Christmas gets me. Something catchy about those songs. All right, these are called Rural Rhythm. They had to give me that word again because it's hard for me to say. Rural Rhythm. These are kind of a dome-shaped circle so they do stick out a little bit they have teardrop and round embossed shapes on them they're in an antique silver with that round crackle stone and turquoise in the middle and then we have the little shiny silver discs at the bottom just one pair of these they came from a fashion fix and i still have one pair of these left so this is the size. Sometimes we're able to buy single pieces out of the fashion fixes after all the sets are gone. So these were left from that. This is number 32, Rural Rhythm. So I try to do that. It's on the 20th of the month. Well, it's actually 19th to 20th. My time, it's midnight. So your time, it would be more like nine or 10 at night. Number 31 to Violet. Um, so it would be actually the night of the 19th, but for me, it's midnight. So it's actually the 20th. We get to buy whatever pieces they have remaining from the fashion fixes. So I try to do that. This is exalted elegance. You can see these are a faceted mirrored hematite stone in triangle shape, kind of a rounded triangle. So these edges are all kind of rounded off. And then it has the smaller hematite rhinestones on the upper two edges. These are post earring. The post is up at the top edge. I do have two of these. This is the size. I'll try to pull that one away so you can see. So I know some jobs only let you have post earrings. So I try to carry some that are a little bit larger. So they're exalted elegance in silver. They're number 33 and I have two pairs of them available. These are one of my favorite jacket earrings, and these would be great with an upgrade to those just in timeless stud earrings that I showed you earlier, the white studs in the silver 
setting because you could replace the smaller rhinestone stud with the larger rhinestone stud. And then this whole part underneath is the jacket that you can either wear in front of or behind your ear. So I have a pair of these myself that I like to wear. I have four pairs of these available. I also have one pair that's set in gold rather than silver if you'd rather have gold. So I have four in silver and one in gold. These are crystal constellations. This is the size. They're number 34. Let's see if I can turn these the right way. They're on chains, so they like to spin. These are musical murals in brown. So we have the filigree at the bottom. This is held up by a chain. I would say it's a crescent moon, but you can see they're kind of pointed at the bottom. Okay, 34, both gold and silver to Kimberly. So I have some more silver pairs. And then we have hammered discs at the bottom. Those are two-tone brown beads in the top there. So we've got like a milk chocolate brown and then that beige brown. I've got two pairs of these available. This is the size of these. So musical murals in brown and I have two of those available. So you have these and they show up very good. Number 35. I was hoping they'd come out with more colors of that, but so far they haven't. Just have the browns. Okay, and these are like the green earrings we saw earlier. These are flirty finesse. I should have put them together, but these are the black version. So we have the black teardrop bead with the filigree around it in the teardrop shape as well. They're on a fish hook bag. This is the size of these. So flirty finesse in black, just a single pair is going to be number 36. Caitlin, you're rocking yourself. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> just going to freeze to death over here. Max would have his jacket on by now and I'm still sweating still. Okay, these are called Unbreakable in silver. This is my last pair of this style of earring. I've sold all the black pairs and all the silver pairs except this one. So it's kind of a leaf shape, a marquee shape, with those geometric patterns inside. They're on a fish hook back. This is the size. Yeah, she needs the heated throw, but it's in the living room. So this is unbreakable in silver. My last remaining pair of these, number 37. Number 38, these are silver. So we have the hematite stones again. So this is definitely an elongated kite shape or you could call it a dagger shape, I guess, with the little chevron shapes in the center. They have the hematite stones on them. They're the mirrored type. This one is a little bit darker gray, so the larger one is a little bit darker than some of the others. They have the tiny studded pattern on the frame. You can see, yeah, if you can see that pattern. This is the size of these. So they're flared flare. That was not very imaginative of the marketing company. Flared flare, number 38. They really need to get people with imaginations. Next up is Sweet as Spring in an orange. And this is a little bit darker orange, kind of like a pumpkin orange. They're in that frilly filigree type work in a teardrop shape. You can see our little flower in the center with an orange bead in the center of it. 
and then an orange bead out here in all the petals flaring out from there. I just have one pair of these. This is the size. So they're called Sweet as Spring. Sweet as Spring in orange. They are number 39. And last, but never ever least, we could say we're saving the best for last. So just because they get to go last doesn't mean they're the worst. Yes, they are very lightweight, aren't they, Sharon? It's an engineering trick. These are Beach Bash in Multi. And these remind me so much of Beach, like a macrame style up here in the knot. And then our tassels coming down from there. We have multicolored beads on here. There's orange, there's blue and yellow, and then the brown wooden beads. So these would be great for a beachy look. I've got two of these available. This is the size. And they are called Beach Bash in multi. They're number 40. Good also with our summer dresses. They match that style very well. So that is the end of our show for today. We get our 40 pairs of earrings in in just a little over 40 minutes. We're at 41 and a half. Um, I did get new boxes in today, two shipments in today. So we will have new products for tomorrow mixed in, of course, with some of the ones that are already here. So we can look forward to seeing some new things. I'll see you back here at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. And thank you so much for joining us. Have a good rest of the day. Have a good Wednesday. And we'll see you back. Bye.